Well, it's another brew day, and so I thought I'd take advantage of my efforts today to demonstrate my alternative to Herm system. Now, the video I did a few years ago that showed using the chiller as a heating element and kind of reconfiguring my stuff is probably my most popular video. So I think this topic is one of interest, and so I'm going to show you what I do now. Similar notion where I'm using all the same items I already have, so I didn't have to buy and build anything new, but the whole point's going to be to be able to recirculate the mash, keeping the temperature exactly where you want it to be, and it also has the uh, additional benefit of clarification of the work. So how I'm going to do it is I've got my heat uh, induction cooktop element here with the mash tun on top. I have my recirculation arm that I'll connect to the pump so I can actually recirculate the wort through the uh, grain bed. And while I'm doing that, I'll be monitoring the temperature through this uh, temperature port. So I'll know exactly what my recirculation temperature is and hold it exactly to where I want it to be. It's pretty easy, it works great, and I'll say, for those of you who liked the other video, I think you're gonna really like this one even more. It's much simpler in Notion. So here it is in action. So let's go through the operation and talk about the main features. So coming out of the bottom of the mash tun, over to the pump, up through the recirculation arm, and back in on top of the grain bed. Again, the way that this is being heated is through use of this induction cooktop. The temperature can be controlled by the cooktop itself or the flow rate by the ball valve outside of the pump. The entire time the temperature is being monitored by the thermometer here. To give you an idea of how much interaction I had to do to control this, I probably clicked the induction cooktop up and down maybe a total of four times. If the recirc temp got a little too cool, I'd click it up a notch. If it got a bit too warm, I'd click it down a notch. The total temperature uh, range for this recirculation was between 149 and 152. So there it is, pretty simple setup. 